Hey guys, Slinky here, and welcome back to some tips and tricks on Dying Light. Um, today we have a couple of things. But first things first, I need to get some ammunition for my guns and for my weapons. Excuse me, please. Thank you. Get okay, this first one, I don't know if I've mentioned it already or not, but the quartermaster's in the tower. After a mission where Spike's... well, spoiler alert first. After a mission where Spike's safe zone gets attacked by Rice's men, Spike will also appear in the tower as... Um, you'll arrive in the tower as a quartermaster as well. Which is good news for us. Bad news for him, but good news for us. Reason being is, well, now we can get double the items that we would have been able to get, which is good news for us anyway. Not so much for him, but for us, that's that's good news. Okay, so what I usually do is I usually go s spike, then to the quartermaster, sell all the stuff, and then I go to sleep and then I just keep doing it over and over and over and over again. So that's trick one to get either a lot of money or lots of weapons. Whichever comes first I guess. Okay. Tip number two. We have to kinda travel to a new location with this one. So if you could just bear with me just now. Let me just get um a melee weapon out. You don't have to have a melee weapon out, but it, it helps. Okay. Well, that was closer than I thought. These, like the survivors with the blue, help them. If they're, if they usually give you good stuff. I mean, because I'm level 25, as I said yesterday, on Survivor, uh, I do get like weapon upgrades and things. They're only ever like assassin upgrades. Okay, so here we go. This is tip number three. We'll use that as tip number two. Always help out fellow survivors. Tip number three. Use your surroundings. Always, always use your surroundings. Because if you're surrounded, you're gonna want to be able to get out quick. Or to get what you want done. So I always do that, I just use my surroundings. Now, the next thing I usually do is if something happens like it just has, um, I get surrounded, I will throw some firecrackers over there. Because the zombies are stupid, they're not clever at all. They will try and get to the firecracker no matter where it is. As you'll see, there you go. Dead, dead, dead. Dead. They just push each other and eventually they all die. Because they're not the cleverest things at all. They're zombies. Yeah. Come on. I usually use this thing to open this up. We only ever get duct tape in there. So, I wouldn't use that. Okay, so there you go. That's them all finishing off. I'm just going to use all these because I don't really need them. Um, there you go. Okay, now I can put my Paisa suit on. Right, so there's... That was tip number three. Okay, tip number four. And it revolves, again, travelling to a new location. Now this vocation might vary for you, but for me I'm going to go here. Okay, so, as you can guess already, this has something to do, oh god, with safe houses. Okay, I have not been having the best luck ever lately with the grappling hook and things, as you've just realised. I keep on missing my targets. And it's been happening a lot lately, I don't know why. Okay, so anyway, this tip um, is it's a tip, but it's also a trick at the same time. It is a trick to help you get survivor points, but it's also a tip because it gives you safe areas and basically it gives you options. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to run in, you want to just kill them all really quick. You don't want to spend too much time in the same location. 
because that could be fatal or something. I don't know. Okay, so what I usually do is I kill the ones on the first floor. If they're if it's a two floor complex, I kill the ones on the first floor, and then I kill the ones on the second floor because if it's two floors, chances are that the um the switch is going to be on this floor. Now that has gave me survivor points. So that's a good thing. It's given me survivor points and it's given me somewhere safe to hide out at the night time. Like in the night time. So there's trick there's tip slash trick number four. Now the fifth one for today is a tip, but it's also a warning. These wooden roofs here. When you're escaping a zombie, you will jump and that will happen. You will fall down if you land on them. You will fall right through them. Which is bad because look. Now, we have zombies running towards us. We have a running zombie there. We have one over there as well. Now he's going to try and run up here. I'm going to kill him because I've saw him come up. There's another one. I'm going to kill him as well. And then I'm going to kill him. Okay. Now. Come on. Come on. Where's the other one? Okay, right, there we go. Now, I'm not going to loot them because we don't have time. What I'm trying to say is, the, tr the tip is, be weary. If you're going to jump on them, just know that they will come down. That's trick number five. Trick number six involves these gas canisters of such. Okay, now, there's usually loads of them around these areas. Right, so what I like to do is I like to throw them near here. Warning, do not... Do not, under any circumstances, let it hit the big gas tank in the middle. Because if you do, the gas tank will blow up and you will get sent all over the damn place. Okay, so what I usually do now is I'll take something like this and I'll hit it. Now, I'll hide. And while we're hiding, we'll do this. Now, what that does is it will draw loads of zombies around there. And when I say loads, it's actually dependent on the location you're in. For us, it's probably not going to draw that many zombies. But it'll draw a couple. Okay, I thought you fell down. Apparently you didn't. Okay, so the reason this is good is because it can either attract zombies to you, like if you want to like, go out in an all-out war against the zombies for some reason. Or, it can, um, it can remove the zombies from your path. Like, if the zombies are constantly following you, chasing you down, it can distract them. Which is, again, another good thing. So you, you want that. You want that to happen. Okay, now the last tip is, if you see one of these, Lock picking hearts. Always do them. Because the chances are you will you will get a weapon. Okay. And this just ties in really to what I said in one of the, the earlier videos. Which is looting is key to survival. It is just if if you go around and you don't loot anything, chances are you're more than likely going to die. Okay, no. Did I hit that? Yes. Okay, there you go. Okay, next on the list is when you're searching through the houses not necessarily in the slums in fact I think this one kind of only applies to if you're in Old Town and that is when you're going through the houses if and when you get to a house and it has a cupboard like so Okay, you're gonna want to be careful because sometimes when you open said cupboard 
there is a zombie just hiding in the cupboard, just kind of chilling. And they will, they will jump out and they will like attack you. So that's not good. Another thing, I know these balclava. Uh, the the, I don't know, I don't know what that was called. The, that thing I just did. Right, I know they, all the consumables on the game. I know they take up time. They can be pretty annoying. Like you're looting for stuff, you want to get something good, and you get that. Well, newsflash, they actually are good. Reason being that they not only do they put your health back up to normal but oh god that's what happens when you hit it by the way now you know that was a stupid mistake it was an error on my part don't stay in the same area for too long with all that tip what what number are we on we're on six or something i can't remember okay whatever tip number we're on that's what we'll call it Okay, if a zombie has you overpowered, don't try and take him on. Kick him away. Like, if there's loads of zombies, like, if there's a couple in your area at the time that you're fighting, and you only want to take on that one, kick the others away, and then deal with the one that you're trying to get. It will help. I guarantee you. It will help. Another thing, this may be a reference to The Walking Dead or something, but it might not be. In, well, newsflash if you haven't seen The Walking Dead. In The Walking Dead, there is a lady called Michonne, who, well, she kicks ass basically. She runs around with two katana swords, samurai swords at the start. Near the end, she only has one. But, what she does to keep herself safe is she chops off the arms and the jaws of the zombies. Now obviously we cannot chop off the jaws because then that kills the zombies. However, we can actually chop off the arms. Now, just like in The Walking Dead, if you chop the arms off of a zombie, they will not attack you. They can only bite you, but they can't actually get close enough to bite you on dying late. Now, it is quite hard if you're using a high powered weapon like I am to just chop off the arms. I get that, it's hard. But if you can, it's worth it because the zombie will still follow you around and try to kill you. But it can't actually get to you. Which comes in handy, very very handy. So, those are your tips and tricks for today. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.